All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you here for a minute. We're going to watch Cody going against Chase. Nadeau. I think I said the name right. Cody's going to start the match on the left lane. Which means he finishes on the right lane twice. And from the looks of it, that right lane is a little squirrely, kind of like mine was down on 63 and 4. Cody's going to start with urethane, keep it in play, do what he's got to do, and then he looks like he's got that, that summit with some surface that he drilled that he's going to go to when he needs to go around the lane a little bit. He's also got his magic gem for shot up. That one looked a little left off his hand. And a wrap 10, which is okay. That's, that's exactly why he uses the urethane. Keeps him in play early. A little jittery for a shot. Guarantee it's a little jitter there. I know it was for me. Get you through these first couple of uh, frames. I'll just let you watch. Yeah, first frame, no biggie. I'm going to go ahead and drill that ball and I'll be right back. You good?
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, you kind of missed the first half of that game because uh, I ran out of storage. I had to delete a bunch of video to be able to record this, so we are back. We're looking at a uh, one-pin match here through seven. Strike in the eighth for Cody will actually give him a little bit of a lead. Almost missed that seven pin. That was crazy. Four pin, whatever it was. Here we go. Cody's in your thing. He's been throwing the black, pitch black. Keeping it in play, not trying to do anything crazy. I think he's kind of trying to make the lanes transition a little bit. Make a change for Chase. So Chase is going to go around the lane a little bit. His rev rate forces him further left. I don't think he likes going straighter. Not as much as he likes going around it just a little bit. So, Let's see if Cody can clutch up here and get a nice three bagger. Still got 258 out there. It's pretty close. Ooh, big, big pick up. Just missed it at the bottom. Good tie ball game, folks. Maybe makes the spare. Better yell at that hand. Do the right thing. That's the lane of hooks too. So it's yeah. like all you have to do is just touch it. Yeah. that the whole match? Huh? Has he thrown that the whole match? Yeah, he's done. Did he? He only threw a couple, like, two or three shots back. Oh. So I misspoke, folks. See? That's how wrong I can be. That's insane. He does not miss the hole. No. Yam, baby yam. Yamopotamus. Yamopotamus. A little bit of a difference in rev rate in that match. Just a little bit. Just a touch. Just a little bit. Oh boy.
Got a hook a lot. Going to. That makes things interesting. That's a hundred and that's two oh four. Finished. Cody can just double in the tenth and shoot two thirty and take a thirty pin lead. Thirty pins first game is pretty big. So he's got to make sure he catches catches the finger holes on this one. The last one he missed at the bottom. Boy. Good bowler. if he strikes. His game one score is generally pretty good. Cody's pretty good at following his own transition. It's just when moving pairs game two this week has been troublesome for him. The urethane ball starts to kind of quit on him, but he didn't throw the urethane at all in practice except maybe two shots to try to preserve that look. So maybe he can get all the way through game two before switching out of that year. This is that summit. Tight up line. Looks alright. A little slow for a reactive ball. Thirty-two pin lead heading into game two. It is a three-game total wood match. Let's start. I might be able to do a magic jump in there actually. You might make it tight. I mean, you might be able to use that urethane ball the entire next game. So Hank told me Ryan threw urethane. Yeah, Makes sense if you right. didn't throw it in practice at all. Right. Throw tomorrow through your thing as well, but he got left with Ryan trying to shoot it. So it was like Ryan was at like four five. Little tomorrow was like seven eight. So like I'm closer to what Ryan's doing. Mm -hmm. And then like Ryan, like he was here and Ryan just like, yeah. jumped left. So. Yeah, because it, it's still doing the right thing. So yeah, it no, looks great. It hasn't done anything that made me think that it's like not no. it. No, and, that looks and, good. It's starting to lane shine a little bit, but I can He's tell. getting I out of it. Good. He's going to the absolute. But that's what the Euro thing does, so now he's going to go to the reactive, and it's not going to get around that. Sure, sure. Like, here's the thing. I can probably shoot 660, 650. I can probably shoot anywhere from 650 to 680 any pair. Yeah. Doing this on the front. Yeah. So if my opponent can't shoot that, you know. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 240 if you make a spare. Yeah. <laughs> I, know my game I know, right? <laughs> Couldn't have made it because then it would have broke my high game in the turn. That's true. Can't, Can't do that. Cody's going to stick with the urethane ball as long as he can. 
I mean, the benefit of using the urethane ball the whole time is it just keeps transitioning the lanes. It keeps stretching the pattern out. It makes them tighter and tighter to the right. But it doesn't affect the urethane ball that much because the urethane ball hooks so much sooner. It just affects the traffic for reactive balls. If you're going left or right into all the urethane traffic, it makes your reactive ball not curb as much down lane. So it makes them a little tough. But as long as the urethane hooks early, it'll go through the pins like that. It's as soon as that urethane ball starts to hydroplane just a little bit, and it comes around the backside. It's not really around the backside, but they, they say it gets too far down lane. Then it flat tends. So just got to keep an eye out on that. Because once that flat 10 comes, generally if you try to get it to start up earlier, that means it's going to hook too much and it's going to go through the face, which will then force you to go left with the urethane ball. And unless you have some tricks, getting it to read the right way and get through the pins from just a few, even just a few left, is tough. So trying to get as many frames out of this ball as possible is, is very key to A, making the pattern longer, more or less, and B, transitioning the pair and keeping everything in front of them. That's two really good shots right there. Every time I want to put a piece there, because that's where it's tight, it rolls up. Oh. Just tape rolling up. Tell them to get better tape. <laughs> So he's changing. Chase is changing to the absolute power on both lanes. So that looked okay. That was a little straighter than the left lane. See what he does on the left lane. See Jake Peters on that on the 49 and 50 using the purple ball over there. Full 220 first game. He's got. 90 pin lead over Mark Thomas. Mark pulled 135. That's tough to bounce back from. Alright, got that light switch to go. That's a good shot there. straighter on that right lane than he is the left lane. Left lane he's kind of going around it a little bit more, which he might try catching up now on that right lane. Definitely didn't like that one. You could tell by the way he kind of put his hands out and said thank you for just a four pin. Spare. Good job, kid.
You did like it? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Okay. Are you playing that one a little straighter over there? I think it looks a little bit more. So I'm, like, I'm a little left. I, I might have jammed that one a little bit, but I still thought it would It just there. looked straighter on that lane than over here. But yeah, I might have jammed that one. I didn't know if you were trying to do that. No, I think that lane just looks a little sooner, so it yeah. doesn't project as far. Right. The right lane, I, like, the left lane, I, I have to, like, slow shape. Like, slow shape? Yeah. I, I, so I, like, moved left and got softer. Okay. All right. Jamming on them finger holes. He gets all of it too. Yeah. I did drill that, by the way. I went out there already. Yeah, so, well. uh, Makes sense. give me an extra look. Yeah. yeah. That make, that make that's a big sim, right? Yeah. It's nice it's and smooth. Kind of an over, kind of under cover. Like it's not a super big cover, just right. I have to charge my phone after this match. I'm already dying. Really? This kills it. You gotta get a new phone. Just the, yeah, the video kills it. I just upgraded because I need more space for now. I haven't charged my phone in a Light switch action. Oh, this is your pair. What's that? This is your pair. Mm -hmm. 61 and 2. Oh, getting a little sensitive to what his hand does. Gotta make a good spare here. Still got 250 out there. Combo. I guess the combo started with a double. I was like, ooh, maybe someone's going to give it to me. Like, double, pull, double, pull, pull, pull.
Reverie, man, we'll get you those extra hits. Those are flat tens for anybody with 50 RPM less. What you can do there. My opponent's the last two years so far are averaging 710. So consistently at least. Yeah. King 
Huh? Rev rate is king. Yeah. Oh, he does the right thing. I mean, his hands does the right thing too. Rev rate forward, and he can manipulate it. Like, chase is really good. I even told him it's fun to watch him all week. He's great. He struck a ton. Yeah. <laughs> if that one struck, I'm in a lot of trouble. Because that one was not very good. <laughs> All right, come on. Put a couple big ones up. A bit of so the chase has 250 out there now. I'm sorry, 260 possible. With Mark Mark. I kinda wanna check this at 20. I don't know why. Cody could roll 230 still, which keeps him in the lead, which is what you're looking for. here to hold on to the lead. That gets him to 52 over. 69 would get him to 73. I moved a little left because I wanted to light switch it. I missed right because I hooked early. Yeah.
Other than the bounce, of course. Yeah. Down now, 269 for Chase. 473, 452. One more game here, gotta make up 21 pins. The good news is Cody gets finished on the right lane this time. So he can figure out this left lane. Could be okay. If he's gonna move left with that eternity. I start to move the lanes a little bit. Make Chase's ball. Maybe get down the lane just a little bit further. That's the only way he's not going to struggle. Is if he can get his ball to kind of push down the lane a little bit more. His rep rate power with the, the lanes not being exactly very difficult. Makes it tough. to the pie on the left lane. It looked okay. Got one to go, so that's good. What are you going to do on the right lane? You, yeah, but are you going to use that or are you going to stay with your thing? No, I'm going to use that. Because he keeps throwing shots there, so I'm getting friction left of me from where I was with the urethane. Yeah. Second one in the tenth was quite a bit right of his first one. Yeah. The second one in the tenth got to like five. So way right, good. way right. Not much you can do with that. It's the beauty and the uh, curse of this tournament. Yeah. Honestly, the first I went 0 and 15. First 15 matches I bowled in matches. Yeah. Then I finally won a match and I won the second. Yeah. I'm just not getting matches. You're bowling fine. No, I know. You're just catching the wrong wrong person at the wrong time. That's what oh, that's way left. Goodness gracious. That's just, how do you beat that? This is a time when, I mean, you don't know any better, but anybody that, if, if Chase ends up winning this, you're gonna have to play defense against his ball reaction. You have to try to destroy that part of the lane to make it to where he can't do that. It's the only 
chance of beating them. Shot. Just keep throwing strikes. See what happens. Not down a ton. 21 pins ain't a lot. I can see what happens. <laughs> I need some help here. I need some help from the carry gods for Cody to be able to win this match. with this tournament, man. You just gotta hope you catch the right people at the right time. Catch the guy that can strike a lot, catch him on the wrong pair, and you get ran over. Catch him on a pair that is bad carry for his entry angle and the things he's trying to do, you got a chance to beat him. So you just gotta catch the right people and the right pairs. and see what happens. Okay, all it takes is shoot 300. One miss from Nadu. All of a sudden, 279-300 is a tie ball game. Anything less than 279, you're a winner. So you just keep striking. It's really only can control what you can do. there. 50 to 75 less RPM means flat ten versus chases. Throws a pin somewhere. A little bit of extra pin action carries those little off hits. Sometimes that's the difference maker. 
unfortunately. But again, still never know. Anything can happen in six frames. Sorry, right, good shot. Anything can happen in six frames. Anything can happen in six frames. Keep throwing good shots. That was good. What happened? What happened? I know, but how? Because that means actually tight. Yeah, but it still. We well, like switching the lines too on that main side. I know. You finally, you tried to get it to face up. I'm that being happened. mean. You threw it too good, that's what happened. <laughs> too good, too good. <laughs> Factor still at play here. Squeeze one just a little too much, make a hook early, and all of a sudden it's pick four. Catch yourself a whole new ball game here, folks. As of right now, still down 21. Past a double here. Past a double strikes. through the fence. Thank you. Ah. There's a lucky one. We'll take that. Need that. Shot.
nine square bonus frame makes it a 20 or makes it a one pin match. And Cody can get up and double the next two. But that's if Chase finds a way to not strike. I mean, he literally has to find a way to not strike. strike so we got it within one but that's big there that's breaking up the three ten and you know not leaving the big four or something crazy that's that's a big break there so now we got a one pin match if Cody can go up and double That squeeze factor we're talking about. If Cody doubles here, it may just happen again. I gotta get down and get that ball. This match is too close though. Get through, get through, get. That's a big one there. Got one pin match now. Shot. This is where the nerves kick in, you know. Nerves kick in, this can work be a difference maker. Those are tough spots. Even though you got a 20 pin lead, you know you don't want to let your opponent have a chance. So any mess here or in the 10. If he doesn't throw a double somewhere, he's got a chance ball in hand. It's way right. Way right. But he's using that friction now, so they created a little friction there. A lot of his last ones have been five, four or five boards left of that. And they sit there and he gets those half pocket strikes. The last few he's thrown out there have him trucking back and been 10 back, so. And this left lane's tighter, so that might be why he's trying to jam it a little bit more on the left lane. Over jammed it. Let's see what he does here. Got double in the tenth. Double nine leaves it for a tie. All three is one pin win. Needs all three to lock it up. It's 
pretty good shot under pressure right there. This one's really, really big. Yeah, that was way left too. So ball in hand. Cody can double the win. Spare is 47. 247. Yeah, strike nine spare for Cody is 68 be a tie. So spare here is big. Yeah. Spare's big. 247. Cody needs a double. Double's a winner. Strike nine spares a tie. Good ball change in this eternity pie. Ah, the one time a light switch doesn't go in this house. Those carry all week long. That's frustrating. I gotta cut you off, guys. That's a loser. He's going into the loser's bracket. I gotta go get a ball. We'll see you guys.